So I was going to talk about seedlings for a little bit and specifically uh, which seedlings are clones of the polyembryonic variety. Uh, this is, comes up quite a bit a lot of times uh, in terms of when you plant out these poly seeds, uh, which one of it is actually the clone. Uh, and well, which ones are the clones and which is that one that is actually the pollinated one. So. Lots of times with these poly seeds, you have one embryo that is pollinated and the rest are clones. Uh, there's been lots of theories that, hey, it's usually the most vigorous one. It's usually the most, the runt, you know, one of those are the, are the is the one that's pollinated. Um, I'm kind of here to kind of talk about it and just kind of say there's no real clear way to really identify it. Um, I'm going with off of these uh, lemon zest seedlings, which I which is pretty easy to identify off of the leaf smell so it makes it really kind of easy versus uh, some other varieties where it makes it kind of tougher to identify which one is a pollinator but the, with the lemon zest uh, the lemon zest has a very nice strong citrusy smell to it so it makes it quite easy doing the leaf test on them to kind of tell which one is the non-pollinated uh, variety uh, so uh, I was going to kind of show some of these lemon zest seedlings and this is about this is off about my observation of about a dozen lemon zest seedlings and then a mixture of different like uh, other poly seeds I have that I've been kind of at least been able to identify uh, which one's the pollinated one so kind of we'll start off with these right here for the lemon zest I've been selecting for uh, the Indian flavored Kind of mangoes that's my favorite group of mango flavors uh, so when I do find something that doesn't have an Indian smell uh, in terms of the original fruit but the, the seedlings does I, I've been kind of keeping them and I plan to plant it out uh, this is a lemon zest uh, seedling and it's a poly you can see all these little stems and seeds that came off of it and you can tell right here that this is the most vigorous grower uh, but it is the pollinated one it was pretty easy for me to identify it has a very nice interesting Indian smell to the crushed leaf while the other ones uh, has that lemon smell to it so this is one example of it being the most vigorous grower this is another example of it being not the most vigorous grow that's the pollinated one but the second most vigorous one so this tall one right here definitely smells like lemon zest but if I go back down to the second one right here this one has a nice Indian smell to it there's all the stems you can kind of see so it's that one to the top left so in this sample the second one is the, the pollinated one here's another lemon zest example and this one uh, it only has two only two plants uh, but very big difference in size and bigger in terms of how they're growing so this one the most vigorous one is the pollinated one it has a very strong Indian smell to it so for the most part um, you could always I guess make the assumption that the pollinated embryo is the most vigorous one but again that's kind of just making an assumption it is it's not guaranteed 100% that it is the one but it's a good one to kind of start off with in terms of kind of start eliminating uh, eliminating which one is and which one is it and yes I got a lot more lemon zest seedlings uh, some of the lemon zest uh, sometimes you get seedlings of the poly variety but they all kind of you know you might not be able to tell the difference so I had some lemon zest where it's a poly one but you know all of them smell lemony so I can't really tell uh, I wouldn't say I have the best 
uh, knows for any of this but you know some 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 group of uh, smell and flavors make it easy to identify and some don't so I've had s some lemon zest where I can't tell it's a uh, it's a uh, poly seed but you know I can't tell which one's the which one's the uh, non uh, clone this is an example one for example this three or four seeds but even the most vigorous one smells like a lemon zest to me then I have some where it smells like a classic kind of cat mango um, and then I had those uh, selection where I'm keeping some of the Indian smelling ones so it's a uh, you know it's kind of a bit of a hit and miss and stuff in terms of uh, uh, in terms of what you expect from how it smells um, I plan to keep the Indian uh, Indian flavored smell ones just because I like that uh, this one for example this one's a lemon zest um, this most vigorous one does not smell like a lemon zest it smells more like your classic cat mango you know one of those flavors nothing nothing that interesting in it right? and all the other seedlings right here all the other seedlings on there smells more like lemon zest and you know uh, some varieties I think is a bit more harder to tell like I've grown out a bunch of uh, Autophos seedlings, which is the yellow ones from the store and those they all smell the same I mean you can imagine this being grown in a big orchard of nothing but autophos so it's just kind of cross pollinating with its own self so you don't get anything different I have a few I have a few sweet tarts that you know they they have shown a different flavors and uh, some different smells that one that smells more Indian but the sweet tart for example most of it they all smell the same so that's uh, so interesting with them they're very much more difficult to identify you know um, so I did have some which uh, you could kind of smell you could kind of tell that it's a classic smelling one but again it's very, very hard to tell, I think. I mean, uh, you're just guessing. But so far from what I've seen in my experiment, it's been the most vigorous grow, that's the pollinated one, or the second most vigorous grow, which kind of makes sense. Uh, I think a pollinated embryo has more of a, that hybrid vigor in it compared to clones. So. That's just my opinion on this, so uh, I thought it might be helpful some, for some of you guys out there that's uh, experimenting with uh, seedlings and especially the polyembryonic seedlings. Alright, thanks for tuning in.